This series is all about easy medieval food. Easy to cook and delicious to eat. It's medieval food for today and every day, so you can impress without trying too hard. Today, I'm cooking douce jamais. First, you need to season some chicken thighs. Use ones on the bone with their skins on. Rub them in olive oil and sprinkle with sea salt and black pepper. I've got six thighs here, enough for three moderately hungry or two very hungry people. Melt a good amount of butter, I have about 50 grams, two ounces here, over a medium heat in a pot or pan that can be used both on the hob and in the oven. Then, placing the thighs skin down, cook them until the skin goes golden. Turn them over and cook on the other side for a few minutes. Ideally, you leave the butter until it begins to brown. This adds to the flavour. Then take out your thighs and drain off the butter. Add a little more fresh butter to the pan and then throw in some herbs. I'm using dried whole leaves of sage, a couple of stems of rosemary and two or three sprigs of thyme. Mmm, the smell of the herbs. Beautiful. Next, add a mixture of whole milk and double, or what the Americans call heavy, cream. I'm using 250 millilitres of milk and 50 millilitres of cream. Throw in a pinch of saffron, about a dozen strands. Add a tablespoon of honey. I've got my local honey here. It's quite a light honey, but you can use a darker honey if you wish. Give your liquid a good stir, then add your thighs back to the pan, skin side up. Don't waste any of those tasty chicken juices. Put your pan in the oven, preheated to 180 Celsius, 160 fan, 360 Fahrenheit, and cook for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, toast some pine nuts. Serve your douche charme with rice and peas, with a sprinkling of the pine nuts and chopped parsley. So this is douche charme, and I'm going to eat it. It's absolutely fabulous. It's such a different way to eat chicken, chicken that's been cooked in milk and cream. It's absolutely delicious and so easy to make. I'm going to tuck in. The sage is lovely. It's a kind of fragrant, not overpowering at all. And then there's the thyme and the rosemary in the background and the fresh parsley on top. The slight crunch of the pine nuts. And it goes really well with rice and peas. Wonderful. Links to downloadable recipes from the Easy Medieval Food series are in the video description below.